Hey guys, I have a very special guest today, Miguel! Miguel Bautista. You guys probably remember him from the video of the smoothie that we made right, in right. Mexico City. But now, I have the honor of having the best vegan chef in all of Mexico in my kitchen in San Diego. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for uh, inviting me. Thank you to, for your staff. Such a nice people. I had an event in LA, like you know, yeah. um, last week or well, a couple of days ago. And with Giovanna and I, we talked. It was like, let's let's make this happen. Let's yes. do it. You know, so we put a lot of effort to come all the way and make this for you guys. So exactly. Thank you very much for yeah. listening and to watch. Yes, thank you. So today we're gonna make a coconut mango ceviche mm -hmm. since mangoes are now in season. Right. I wanted to make a ceviche recipe. Miguel had a recipe, and I kind of had some ideas. So we said, okay, let's put it together and make it bomb, delicious, yeah, yeah. raw vegan coconut mango ceviche. Right, right. It's delicious, super easy to make. So, how about we just do it? Right, and eat it. And eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> We're gonna need the meat of three coconuts, and for this recipe, I used young Thai coconut. Right. But you can use any coconut. Yeah, I mean, you can use any coconut, you know. The key in this ingredient is to try to find, even if it's young Thai coconut or green coconut, um, even the brown coconut will work, you know, yeah. the brown with uh, that is like really hard because we need something that has consistency. So if you guys get young Thai coconut or green coconut, just make sure that you get something that is not so young. We're looking for a texture, like similar to like, like a little harder, you know, than just like, like uh, usually coconuts, they come really, really young. They have like this meat yes, really soft. Yes, I had a couple young ones that I can use for this recipe. Well, that was, that was good because we got good consistency. It was good because we yeah. got to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> another well, key ingredient is mango. Mango, of course, it gets the sweetness and then the sourness and you know you gotta touch all the senses of your palate. Who doesn't like mango? Well, I know some people. No, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Sometimes I, I have for dinner, I'm not kidding, about eight, ten or twelve mangoes. Wow. Just uh, I'll sit I down think our and probably just good like, friends. <laughs> can relate to that. Yeah, they'll be like, hey, it's nothing. Well, that's oh, what? Like, it's like 12. I'm like 12. Yeah, I know. And sometimes I'm eating, I'm eating, I'm eating, I'm like, when I saw it, I stopped because most of the time I ran out of mangoes, you know? But, <laughs> but it happens the same with, with avocados, you know? And yeah, he loves you know, avocados. Bananas, avocados, yeah, coconut. I love it. Okay, so next we're gonna add um, some sweet corn. Right. And this makes it kind of like Peruvian. Right, sweet yeah. corn, radish, there's tons of type of ceviche, you know, like there's one that's really simple. Here with raw vegan food, we like the colors, we like to add antioxidants, we like to add tons of uh, colors. And you can find the colors in anything, those are the most famous antioxidants. This is the colors, that's what's gonna make you um, actually look younger. That's true, antioxidants. So let's just take advantage of all the colors that we have. Oh my gosh, I have an idea. Okay, can you guys please comment down below and try to guess how old he is, okay? <laughs> comment down below. After this video goes up, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna put in the comments how old he is, okay? So you guys can, you guys have to go and do that. <laughs> That's gonna be funny. Yeah. yeah. That, that happens all the time. Oh, you guys, you guys. Yeah. Let's, okay. So, for antioxidants, we're gonna use Anti all colors all of colors. bell peppers. All colors of bell peppers. But you can use whatever color you can find. I would like put squash, you know, zucchini, which has greens, and greens is detox. Yeah. We can put um, tomatoes, tomatoes is it's for your blood, reds. We put red bell pepper for your blood. We put um, yellows and, and oranges. Mm -hmm. That's anti-inflammatory. We talked about this kind of like in the, in, the, in the first video we did yes. a little bit of comments. Little bit. And then you got all the green and cilantro, antioxidants, um, detox. So it's really important. If you only have like two or three ingredients, that's fine. But just make the effort to get more colors into your ceviche. Exactly. The, the red of radishes and the white on radishes. So let's just add more, you know, you can add more white food, daikon radish, um, watermelon radish, you know. You can add sprouts, you can yeah. add anything, Ooh, you know. Sprouts would be yeah. really good. But this is a nice recipe that yeah. um, you're talking, you were in Peru. Yeah. That's a funny story, right? Yeah. You were in Peru and I was cooking for this event, huge event in Mexico, and I was making a, a, a raw ceviche, right? And she wrote me and she's like, I just tasted this in Peru, this awesome. And I was like, I'm 
check this out, boom, and I send you a picture. Yeah. And it's like, I was making a raw ceviche, coconut raw ceviche, at that same day. That's crazy. Uh, that, yeah. Meant to be. And it was like, okay, we gotta do that recipe, you know? Yes. And that's an amazing recipe. Because, oh my gosh. Because it's it so is good. awesome to. Where do you eat ceviche usually? On the beach, yeah, right? On the beach. It, it's fish. Exactly. So you can do this on the beach, you know? The same thing. Exactly. Cilantro, chilies, lemon juice, you know? Yeah. So it's a pretty friendly recipe. Delicious and colorful. So the next, so finally we're just gonna add some uh, tomato and cucumber. Right. And then to season it, to season it, we can use you know basics um, cilantro, you lots, know lots of cilantro. lots of cilantro, salt, pepper. You can actually put kale if you want to chop like kale, like oh, really yeah. julienne. Kale would be really good. Right, kale, and then you boost it up. You know mm -hmm. that's what we're yeah, looking on raw. Exactly. exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then for the juice of this ceviche, we're gonna do an, what it's called an agua chile. Yeah. We call it in Mexico. Yeah. So agua chile is awesome. Yeah. I discovered this. And a friend of mine taught me from Sinaloa, Mexico, is like, let's do this. Aguachila, I was like, what is that? Because we do ceviche in different parts of the world different, you know, in Mexico, different states. So we, cut, we I learned this recipe, you know, and um, usually they do it with fish or shrimp. But I just, we just do the aguachila, which is basically, we just did it in two minutes, less than exactly. two minutes. Yeah. We need, um, let's say, a cup of lemon juice, a cup of water, and the chilies uh, that you would like the most. You know, it could be serrano, it could be jalapeno, it could be habanero. And don't be afraid, use the seeds. Those are the <laughs> essential oils, guys. So. <laughs> oh my god. You try it, right? Yeah, yeah. it's good. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. you just put it all in the blender and... Ready? Let's do this. <laughs> he wants to add another pepper. No, it's so it was so funny. He was holding up these two the, these two saranos, right? And he was like, "Oh, let's make it mild." So we're just at we're just gonna do this. And I'm like. Mild? That? What? No. I'm like, I was thinking of adding like half of one. <laughs> well, the thing is, um, when you mix it with all fruit and vegetables, the spiciness goes everywhere. I don't know, you want to add some more? Or you no, yeah, add? let's add some yeah, more. Let's yeah, add, this is uh, to taste, guys. So, yeah. Whatever this is. Same. If you guys do it with habaneros, it's awesome. That's yeah. my favorite chili. If you guys do it with serranos, it's spicy. Jalapenos has some flavor, but it's, it's not, they're not that spicy anymore, you know? mm -hmm. sadly. But, sadly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so now all we do is just pour the agua chile onto our ceviche right. and mix it all. Stir it, stir mix it, it up. Yes, blend fold it. it. Yeah, fold it, right. fold it, like you said. And it's ready. It's ready. And then um, to serve it, you have two options. You have the raw option right. and the cooked vegan option. What we do here for the cook option, of course, ceviche and corn goes by the hand. You know, that's like the main ingredients, you know, but we don't deep fry. And this is cooked food, but this is just like a, a real organic uh, blue corn tortilla. So, you know, you can do it with white tortilla or, I mean, white corn or yellow corn. But right now, at the moment that we're talking, this is like one of the corn that is non-GMO and it's organic, just because it's, so good. Because it's blue. Mm. So all so we did, fresh. we literally... It smells like Mexico. It does. Yeah. It does smell like Mexico. Oh. So what, what we do here, we just cut it and, you know, triangles, you can make chips out of it, you can make a whole tostada. And all you need is just to bake it. You don't need oil, you don't need salt, you don't need anything. And we have baked chips, you know. We all like cook options because then we can share with people that are not used to eating a chip made of cucumber or jicama like we did here, or, you know, more antioxidants, more, yeah. more colors. We have cabbage, red cabbage. I mean, you can do it like the yeah. raw vegan, you can do even like a lettuce. The options like are a, endless. You can make a taco out of ceviche. Yeah. Oh my you know? gosh, that'd be so With good. With lettuce, yes. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd love to share and if you don't, the cook option because, yeah, me too. you know, we can share it to more people and not be, and make people approachable to raw food and then taste 90% of a dish raw and then exactly. 10%, you know? Yeah. And I bet they'll, they'll and take And if you don't find the blue chip. corn, yeah, they'll take both. Um, if you don't find the blue corn tortilla, it's okay. You can just use the normal uh, corn tortillas. Mm -hmm. But just check that it's preferably organic mm -hmm. and non-GMO. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So now we just try it. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <Hello. laughs> 
Like this? Like what? <laughs> like that. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Wow, that's really good. It's really yeah, good. Yeah, it's super good. It's honestly. actually, it reminds me when I used to go, you know, I used to live on the beach and it reminds me like my parents, my uncles, everybody, like that memory of ceviche, know. you know, because yeah. it has the main ingredients. It does. Which is not the fish. No. It's actually cilantro with some type of pepper and lemon juice. Yeah, exactly. Know? Yeah, so most of the food that, like animal protein that is cooked, all the flavor is in the seasoning. Right, yes. the herbs, the spices, exactly. the seasoning. All right, well, mm -hmm. thank you guys so much for watching this video. We hope you liked it. If you liked it, give it a right. thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, I upload videos every single week. And you can follow me everywhere, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, everywhere. You can also follow Miguel on Instagram. Right. Vegan, vegan Raw Chef. Vegan Raw Chef and on Facebook. On Facebook with my name, Miguel yeah. Batista. I'm gonna add all of his links in the description of this video. Thank you guys, we're gonna go eat now. Yeah. And we'll for see real. you. Yeah, for <laughs> real. We're gonna go eat now. <laughs> and we'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Bye! Thank you. We can't even talk. <laughs> it's so good. Two words are spicy. Mm? It's not spicy. No. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm gonna try it. Mmm.